So we have made it over here to the abandoned train tracks. Wait, I just saw a cat right there. Guys, do you hear that? There's a kitten. There's a kitten right there. A oh baby kitten. Oh my gosh, I kind of see it. What is up, everyone, and welcome back. Oh my gosh. And welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. This right here is Cheech and that is Chong. These guys right here are two of my three African servo cats. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know today's video is about cats, but it is not about these cats. Today's video is actually about some tiny newborn kittens that my sister and I found abandoned by the mother at some train tracks. Now, not only did we find those baby kittens, but we also found some other stuff that is really quite sickening and really bad that we found. If any of this sounds like something that you guys are interested in, well, we're gonna hop right into that. But before we do that, well, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just wanna give a special thank you to Chili Sleep for sponsoring today's video. And you guys are probably wondering, what in the heck is Chili Sleep? So let me stop talking about it and let me show you. I have it right here, it's in the box. It's really freaking cool. And here it is, so let's open this box on up. Let's open her on up. Welcome to the sleep of your dream. So yes, this is going to help with your sleep. Um, we've got Chili Sleep right here. And basically, this is a really cool device that is gonna cool your bed down to sleep. So again, let me stop talking about it and let me show you. So this right here is the Uller Cool Sleep System. So this right here is the main device and you guys are probably still wondering how in the heck does this work. You fill this with water, it's completely controlled by your phone, and this is your pad. So this, in just a second, we're gonna stretch this big pad over the mattress. This tube connects the system to the pad, and it puts cold water through the entire pad, creating a really cool effect, which is going to keep my bed between 55 degrees and 115 degrees, whatever I choose. I'm probably gonna do 55, because if you're like me, and you work out in the sun all day, well, when you go to sleep at night, you want it to feel like the Arctic. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here. And we're, and we're gonna come, and we're gonna wait for that snap. So we've got our tube hooked up, we've got our power cords. We're going to plug that right on in, and we are turned on. Now, we're not ready just yet, because we actually have to fill this with water. So we're just gonna open this on up and fill it with water just like this. I'm not sure how much it's gonna take. Okay, it's turning on. Okay, so we're gonna put it, it's at 77 right now. I'm gonna set it to 60 degrees. So now I'm gonna hop in the bed and check this thing out. Whoa, okay, this is really cool. So right now it actually feels really, really cold in here. A lot colder than normal. So you know what? I'm gonna take a nap and I'm gonna be back with all of you and let you know how that nap went. One hour later. Okay, so I literally just woke up from a nap. I decided right after I set this up that I was gonna take a nap and see how this thing worked. And I just probably took the best nap of my life. So again, thank you so much Chili Sleep uh, for sending me the cooling system. If you guys have trouble with sleeping at night because you're either too hot or too cold, then you definitely should check out the system. So if you guys wanna try this system for yourself, well, all you gotta do is go right now, click the link in my description and use my code FEDER and you guys are gonna get your very own discount. And now that all of you guys got to hear about Sleep Chili and all of its incredible benefits, well guys, now it's time to hop into today's kitten rescue. So guys, we have made it over here to the abandoned train tracks. As you can see, we're here and the train tracks are here and there's just a lot of trash dumped here. Hannah, what are you seeing back here? A lot of mayonnaise bottles. Do you see this, guys? Yeah, somebody literally dumped hundreds upon hundreds of mayonnaise bottles for some reason. But this area in specific is a dumping ground for trash and what else, Hannah? For animals as well. I found like Santeria here. I found dead animals in bags. For those of you that don't know about Santeria, it's actually a voodoo that is practiced here in South Florida. So people are constantly um, dumping chickens and goats and there might be something in that I bag. I right? saw a lamb here last time I was coming to your house. Really? On the side of the road. Yeah, guys. It is pretty cruel and gruesome stuff that people do. Now, the main reason why we're here is because people have been seeing cats here. Hannah, you saw a bunch of cats the other day, yeah, right? Yeah, I saw a bunch of stray cats here. So the cats, I'm sure, are feasting on all kinds of stuff that's dumped here. As you can see, this train track line hasn't been used in quite a while. But Hannah, I think, I think we can get over to the back this way. Um, pretty, it's pretty, pretty bushy. it's pretty bushy and dense, but. Guys, there is this is a habitat for abandoned animals here in South Florida. And honestly, guys, I'm not sure what we're gonna find. Hannah, what do you think we're gonna find? 
I have no idea. I mean, this looks like territory for invasive pythons as well. You've got the thick cane grass back here. I mean, this is literally a jungle, Hannah. Oh, look, there's a bunch of more stuff here. So we're back. Yeah, yeah, come over here. Look, there's like more, there's more trash. There's candy bars here. Wait, I just saw a cat right there. Hannah, come here. Yeah, yeah, there's a cat. Come, come, come. There's a cat over here in the bushes. I just saw a cat right there. Are you good? Uh, I, I'm gonna break my ankle, honestly. Yeah, Hannah might break her ankle here. There's a cat right over here in these bushes. Um, okay, well, I don't know what I'm gonna step on back here. Guys, as you can see, oh. we're in a jungle back here and we might get eaten by a python. There could be foxes, coyotes, oh all kinds of predators back here. Um, tegu lizards, but we're just gonna, okay, right there, right there, there she is. Let's go, there she is, she's over here. Okay. There's a cat um, and Basically, we're looking for these cats because Hannah works with a lot of rescues, um, cat rescues, and we find a lot of homes for the cats because uh, there's too many cats. Cats are bad out wild in the environment. Oh, I almost fell there. Someone spotted a big fat cat. They sent me a picture of it, and the cat looked pregnant. So we're over here. This is about a couple weeks ago. So we decided to stop by since we were in the area and see what we could find. Hannah, I... Maybe we should go around because I think if we go around, oh, I'm gonna yeah, fall. If yeah. we go around to that side, it's open over there because okay, this yeah, is this is too thick. We're, we're let's let's there. get out of here. Okay, this is literally like a trap for people. There's all kinds of vines and bushes to get tangled up on. We got sharp rocks. We've got dumped tile, so people also dump tile here. Are you good, Hannah? No, I'm not. You're not? Okay. So we made it out of the bushes. Hannah's a little bit up ahead. What? There's a bag here. A bag? Yeah, oh, guys, we found a bag, and this, okay, wait, here's a stick for the bag. Whenever we find these bags, we open them up with sticks, because you never, Hannah, do the honors okay, of let's see if we can open opening this, this up. So, wait, 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 let's poke it. Do you think there's, what, what do you think's in the bag? Could know. it be an animal? Possibly, it's like soft. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh. <laughs> open it up. Oh, I think it's just a bunch of trash. I think it's a bunch of trash here, but all right, oh, don't open it up underwear. too much. Oh, we got someone's underwear, but thankfully there was no animals yeah, here, Hannah, because thankfully. a lot of times, again, these bags are full of goats, lambs, chickens, animals that were sacrificed for really strange religious purposes. I think it's cruel and sickening. I have no idea why anyone would do that. We find it horrible that people Terrible. do that. And that's the reality. We find a lot of that down here. So. I'm really surprised we haven't seen um, a dumped animal, but basically, we've got more tr train tracks to cover. Oh my! Are you seeing this? Goodness! Are you, I? I'm oh. seeing it. Are you, I'm? I'm having a hard oh time believing God. it. Kind of. Oh, right here, too, oh, guys. I didn't even there, notice that. There's bones all here from an animal, and there looks like there's feathers too. There's honestly. feathers. Oh wait, let's let. let oh wait, let's no, get wait, a stick. Yeah, get the stick. Let's get the go. stick, guys. We haven't found any animals yet, but we are finding, oh, oh my gosh. My gosh, look at this. This right here is bones from an animal that was dumped here in this bag. I'm not sure what it was, but it most likely was some sort of a chicken. Oh my, so there's bones there. And then right here, there's bones from more animals that were dumped in this bag, look. This is insane. Oh my gosh. This is literally what we were just talking about. This Santeria that goes on here, the dumping of animals. It's terrible, honestly. It's terrible and sickening. and sickening. So guys, we found this. It was really unfortunate, but let's continue our hunt. So we're gonna start making our way over Jacob. this way. What? Do you hear that? No. Jacob. I hear that, I hear it. Noises coming from, wait, 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 stop talking, stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Wait. Guys, do you hear that? I don't see anything though. So there's definitely the sound of some kittens um, over this way. Um, we can hear them, so they must be somewhere in this cane grass. Do you wanna go first or me? Uh, I'll go first, I'm gonna go this way, right over here. Okay, we've got cane, oh, wait, right, I'm hearing it it's coming from this way. Okay, let me get back in here, let me come this way. Oh my, Hannah, come on, are you coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay, right over there, I see some. All right, right there. Wait, wait, There's a kitten. There's a kitten right there. A oh baby kitten. Oh my gosh, I kind of see it. Is you... there one? It looks like there's only one. Uh, let me see. see okay, one. guys, we're here. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared for this today. Wait, wait, let me tell you this one. is not ready for this one. I Okay, there's two kittens right here. Nuh-uh. Yep. 
Yep, two baby gray kittens. You see them? Oh. Right here. So this actually looks like a little sanctuary for cats. It's kind of an opened look, area. A pathway that way too. Yeah, look at that. There's a tire back there, but there's a path. So this is like a clear. I wonder if there's more kittens in there. I mean, there could be because this area right here is completely cleared out. But wait, wait, let's get oh. the kittens. Oh let's get them. Gosh. Wait, wait, you get one and I'll get the oh other. Oh my God, oh they're so my itty bitty. Goodness, Ooh. look at this. Tiny baby, two or three day old that? kittens. They, their umbilical cord just fell off. Okay, yeah, it must have just fallen oh off. But my gosh. we, uh, we found little kittens here in the bushes. Oh look at that, Hannah. So, so tiny. So tiny Dirt and adorable. And water all look, over them. they don't even have their eyes open. <gasps> They're actually real. I think I might, I might keep one. Really? I, I don't know, maybe. But let's look. There's like a path. I'm hold them over here. There's a path back here. Oh, there's another bag, Hannah. Really? There's another bag way back here. Guys, I think, oh, I don't know what's back here, but look. You see that? There's another black bag that could have an animal in it. Uh, all right, you know what? We found some kittens, and that's it. So, I do not want to know what was in that bag, but Hannah, I cannot believe, wait, can I hold both of them? They're freezing. Free, oh my gosh, up. they are freezing. <sighs> So we want to make sure these cats are nice and warm. So I don't really bring the rescued cats to my house because I have exotic cats, but all that rehab stuff gets done at my parents. Oh, look, he's trying to suck on my <gasps> finger. He sh this little guy is starving. Oh, here, put him in here, here. here. So he I'm going to put warm. him in there so he can get warm. Okay, we don't have a crate or anything with us. We're we going to have to hold him like this. So we literally are not prepared for this at all. We were just in the area and decided to stop by. So do we have, a, do we need to go to the store? Do we have anything? I, I think we have everything because I keep everything on hand. So Hannah keeps everything on hand. I'm not sure what she normally has, but we're gonna need kitten milk replacement. We're gonna need um, heat, Bottle, pa heat pad. pad. Okay, so, well, I guess that's gonna end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's kitten rescue here at the train tracks. Um, this is insane that we found Crazy. this here, Look how but tiny. there's just all kinds of dumped animals here, and thankfully these guys didn't have that same fate. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see, um, are you gonna put these on your channel? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely do a, a feeding video. Okay, Hannah's gonna be feeding them. So if you want to see these guys get fed, we'll check out her channel. It's gonna be linked down below. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you want to see more of these animal rescues. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, all you gotta do. Go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.